Hello YouTube, thought I would uh, sort of go through the latest updates on um, work and what's going on with the workshop. Uh, we'll do the workshop first. At the moment I'm just waiting, finding time for the, uh, the electrics to be fitted. It's taken an absolute age, a real age. Um, just take getting the quotes in was the best part of three weeks. And if I was to say that the difference between the highest and lowest was 100%, the, the, the highest quote for getting power down to here and a distribution board from the main sort of distribution board in the house, four figures, a four-figure sum was the first one that I got in. Um, it's, I mean, it's a good, what, well, 40 metres, I suppose, from the house. So it's a fair distance. That's quite a lot of armoured cable. But I couldn't get my head wrapped around a four-figure quote for that. Uh, anyway, the, the the best quote that I've got is literally half the first one. So I've gone ahead with that, but then there was a big waiting list for um, for having that fitted. So anyway, it's due on... Fitting's due on the 15th of October, so that's not too far away now. And then I need to get in touch with uh, Moleskin Joe to to come and sort of help fit the, well, t to do the fitting of the actual sockets and uh, hopefully the lights as well. So we're, we're getting there and uh, when that's all done I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. Um, there's not really been much change in the workshop. Uh, I'll show you around in a, in a minute once I've shown you the, uh, the latest Bobcat. Um, yeah, there's not really been huge changes. I've had, I've fitted the Vice that I talked about in the last video that's behind at the moment I've got the the buffer out on the top over here normally that's tucked underway underneath the the worktop um, other than that I've got a few more lights <laughs> the ones I was taking the mic out those IKEA ones because of course I need those now I'm not in the greenhouse right in terms of latest work I wanted to show you first of all um, a sort of prototype sheath that I've come up with. Okay. And the idea is that it has a sort of a frog uh, holding system so that this can slip in and out. And that could be used for, well, no another knife perhaps that you've got that would just slip in, or possibly even a small axe would fit through here, like a, a small hatchet of some kind. Um, what's the point? Well, when you are sort of sitting down and perhaps putting stuff back in and out of a car perhaps, it would be very easy just to um, slip that out and put that away. You could replace it with a different type of knife. I don't know. I haven't made my mind up yet. I, any opinions on that would be gratefully received. You see it's got a little fire steel holder here. This isn't one of my fire steels, uh, I hasten to add. It's, it's much better than mine in some respects. Uh, this is done, This is from my Allen Rudd knife. Lovely little, I think that's rosewood I think. Okay, so in terms of securing it in position, uh, at the moment I've just come up with a very simple sort of loop, leather loop that goes over the back there and then your belt would go through and secure it so that there's no way that it can sort of fall out. So that's fairly secure. So that's that's a prototype sheath and any, any thoughts that you've got on that, likes or dislikes, I'd be interested to hear them. Um, this one is sort of hand stitched using uh, no sort of channel at all, just to emphasize the, the sort of pattern on the stitching to make something of the stitching itself. On this one, I've done it finer still with a tighter stitch. It's just part of the sort of practice in using um, an awl as part of my stitching as opposed to. Uh, punching the holes through. I'm using an awl to push the hole to try and improve my, my, this quality of my stitching. Right, Bobcat 7. This is Bobcat 7. 
well this is the sheath for Bobcat 7 I should say uh, it's a hand tooled coloured sheath best quality leather I've tooled the dangler as well the dangler is a permanent dangler it doesn't clip in and out I haven't made my mind up yet about the best type of dangler. I keep looking. I've made various types. I've used um, ones with press studs and what have you, but just at the moment, I've, these are Chicago screws that are holding it strongly in place. Uh, still sort of toying around with the idea of having the fire steel through the dangler. Again, that's kind of something I'm just trying to see what I think of that idea. I used it on Bobcat 6 as well. Okay, so that's that's the sheath. The sort of floral pattern. Uh, almost Sheridan, I suppose, in style. And different sort of resists on here to give it a, a lighter colour here, darker colour here. And then painted on dyes for the background. <coughs> the colouring here is done with... Um, a gel, uh, an antique gel, and it's the same antique gel, it's just that these lighter areas have a resist on. And then black background around the sort of flowers and the pattern, and then uh, a dark brown for the rest of the, the rest of the sheath. And then uh, I always wax the sheath. I like I like natural finish as opposed to acrylic. Right, the knife itself is Bobcat 7. In most respects, the shape is the same as the previous Bobcats, uh, with one slight change. Um, I've added a little notch here to sort of help with the uh, sharpening. When you're drawing it along the sort of sharpening stone, the idea is that uh, you, know, you, you can run it over the edge a little bit. That was at the suggestion of Adrian Rose of uh, Northwest Bushcraft who took one of the Bobcats, one of the earlier Bobcats field testing and that was one of the things that he, he felt might be an improvement. Uh, he also thinks that perhaps I should add some uh, jimping along the, the top edge here that's curved so that when the thumb's in position it's got a little bit more grip so on Bobcat, uh, Bobcat 8 I'll be thinking about that. I've finished it um, the flats are finished to I think it was I think I went to a thousand grit on this one might have been 800 but I think I think I remember going to a thousand I think I prefer 800 I think I prefer the satin finish I mean it's not a high gloss finish obviously but um, I think I might stick with 800 this is a U handle with my mosaic pins in there so my design of mosaic pin. The U has got, well on this side especially, it's got really nice sort of purple running through it. It was a shame actually. I was, when I first started on the scales I thought the purple would be equal on both sides but it turned out that it wasn't running through the whole depth of the scale which is a shame. So on that side you've got like purple highlights but never mind. Okay, um, so it's always tricky to see where the camera is, sort of tipped there. Seems to. It looks like it's not sharp, but it is. There we are. I think that's showing it better. Okay, and plunge lines, red liners. Quite a nice finish there, and I've put a, a leather sort of thong through it and that's uh, I didn't make the I can't make those, I don't know how you do those ok so that is Bobcat 7, it's the second knife to have my logo on The I quite like the, the way the, that's turning out it's looking quite nice ok so that's that's now my sort of combination that, that, that will be used it will be me that's using that so I've got to get used to looking at where the lens is. I think it's here. I just can't clearly see it on my 
on my phone. So I'm not looking off, off camera as it were. Right, um, quick quick look around the workshop. It's a bit of a mess at the moment, but uh, you can see well, it's nice. It's nice to have a workshop though, I have to say. I'll just quickly stop this and show you around. One change is that at the moment um, I've I've replaced the uh, toaster oven with a, a baby belling because uh, they're just made to a much higher sort of standard. The insulation in them. When I took the uh, baby bell, sorry, when I took the toaster oven apart um, a little while ago, I was sort of dis disabling the uh, the internal thermostat on it so that I could control it with this thing, which I'll talk about in a second. I realised there's absolutely no insulation whatsoever in there. So, um, following the sort of uh, advice of Jason at Willowwood Knives, I, I invested in a baby belling and I d did quite well. I only paid about 25 quid for this, complete with a stand which is currently over there with the, uh, with the toaster oven on it. And it, it does seem to work a lot better. It seems to be fusing out the house electrics, but it seems to work down here. And what I've got here is a PID. Uh, well, a temperature controller where I can adjust the temperature of the oven to much greater accuracy than the, the internal uh, thermostats. I can actually set a temperature and get it pretty much spot on that and using the thermocouple to double check just how far out the PID is because you can't really trust the PID uh, to be the exact temperature so I can sort of double check and see what the difference is. Um, st <laughs> this is this is a nightmare. Look at this. I shouldn't health and safety. Uh, I've got a dozen different extension leads all coming from the greenhouse that's going across the top at the moment down here. That's then going to that, and that then goes to the greenhouse. So big step forward when that's all gone. Even got my old valve radio in here. Um, that was the the sort of wood woodworkers uh, vice, isn't it? Should really be mounted underneath, but it doesn't it doesn't work that um, because of the way I made the benching. It's not flat underneath, so I couldn't easily mount it underneath. So I've had to mount it on top, which isn't ideal. It takes up more space than it should. But uh, it's a good vice. It's a good quality vice. It's a record, which is. Uh, as a decent make. Still haven't got an engineer's vice yet, but that's on the sort of want list. Is there anything else different? No, there isn't really. Um, that's the buffer, which is basically a grinder with the, the adapted things on here that you just bought, sort of, uh, you replace the grinding stones, and you put these on, which you got off eBay, and then put your, your various wheels on there. And that bit of cardboard just that bit of hardboard just protects the windows a little bit. Shakes everything to pieces this. The reason I've got it on this side. I originally had it on this side. And it's obviously not balanced very well because it was shaking so hard. Everything in there fell out. All those little boxes fell out. There's the next few bobcats waiting uh, to be finished off and handled. And the my next sort of model, which is a, a sort of slightly larger bladed bobcat with a, a more rounded end to make it slightly more comfortable perhaps when you are uh, carving is the idea. So a, a heftier knife. Okay, so, oh, is there something, there is one other thing. I've um, just started to think about the limiting the dust from where it can get. Um, I came across a sort of a system that's used mostly for decorating I suppose where there's um, zips that you put along sort of a, these zips here come with a sticky back on them and you put the zip onto plastic and then you basically unzip it and cut it so you, you create well with two of them you create a door in plastic very cheap system I haven't finished it off uh, because I didn't think it would be sensible to sort of put that barrier up before 
the electrics were fitted and all the sockets, etc. So I'll, I'll complete that later. <coughs> right, the, uh, the only other thing that's in the pipeline, literally, in the pipeline, is the dust extraction system. I've now got pretty much everything. I've got the, the piping, I've got the blast gates, and I've got all the sort of bends and bits and bobs. I haven't bought any of the mounting brackets because the price was just adding up and adding up. So I'm going to see if I can get round that perhaps with, um, uh, well, find a different way to some, some bend plastic round or something like that uh, and staple it or screw it in. We'll see. So once again, once that's done, I can uh, I can put a video out to show what that system looks like. Uh, Probably wait until the electrics are all in and the dust extraction system, then you can have a sort of complete update. Okay, just a quick reminder about any feedback on those um, those sheaths, that one in the frog system, whether you like it, whether you don't. You know, should I should I make that an option on a bobcat uh, to go with that or or what? Okay, cheers guys. See you again.